Safari Activator, from 3, Immortal Breeze, from 4, <coughs> Chinatown Samuel, from 5, from Valley Dungeon, and then off 10, Cool Life, on the inside of Aberdeen. Hey, Medland Maverick, Medland Maverick, I'm sure we range are sharp for today. Oliver had a fantastic day at this meeting last year. Several wins. Here's Palavari Activator, Martin Roberts. Two out of go, Martin. Good draw there for him. Another horse that likes to get to the front. And if he does, can take an awful lot of passing that he showed earlier in the season. That's Palavari Activator. We'll be off 30 yards. Not 20, as on the program. Derby. Then you can't get a bet on with the bookmakers here at Evan Jones. All right. 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 Here's number 51, Avery Hayes. Winner of the Great B Handicap on Monday, the 15th. Driven again today by Lynn Boxall. Two out of ten, Lynn. Second in the heat, won the final last Monday. Followed down by number 40 from Valley Duchess. Five out of the game. She'll be tucking in, see. Tucking in with from Valley Duchess. Has been running very well this season. Had a nice little warm up run there in the nursery race earlier on this afternoon. Owner driven. Here's 41. Immortal Breeze, you are three out of the gate, Janet. Now, Immortal Breeze had his first run on Monday, and I thought ran extremely well. Coming up now is number 50, Cool Ice. Cool Ice won a heat on Monday. Very good horse in the Great B, Cool Ice. Monday's come on to the court. Family <coughs> Hayes going up by from Belly Duncan. Here comes the Immortal Breeze. Mel Langford in the seat here on Chinatown Samuel. Chinatown Samuel. Four out of four, please. Turn once more. The crowd wants to see here in Ontario, I'm sure. With Louisa, so we'll all go down together. He, he make, me, make me a millionaire. So, here is Air Ontario. Won the saddle race at night, got into the final and sitting in. Three out of ten yards, Louisa. Looks quite upset with that draw. I'm sorry, I have nothing at all to do with that. So, we've got our. Eight runners on the field now. So, if you can turn Oliver, that's right, and lead them down to the start card. Keep them together if you can. Here's Samuel. That's quite all right. Turn what's easy here. So, Mel's going to go down the back straight and into the horse, is she? So, did you hear? Start car will pick them up. Want. Trying to find Samuel on the outside of the gate, he seems to be there. On the inside of the gate will be Medland Maverick. Two out will be Calavari Activator. Three out of Mortal Breeze. Here we come. Go! And away they go. And it's Medland Maverick on the inside. On the outside, Immortal Breeze. Then we've got to going up the inner. Tron Valley Dutch has got a good start. Calavari Activator's right there. Cool Ice has got a good start on 10 yards. Chinatown Samuel has got away far better than he did Monday. Then we've got Abilly Hasten at the back here, Ontario. Down the back straight for the first time. And that's in the first race. Medlam Maverick steadies the pace. He will try and dictate this to the speed he wants to go. In second place on the outside, going to the front there, goes Immortal Breeze. I said this little horse ran very well on Monday at Citadel, but she has used him a little bit on this first lap, and this is an almost a mile and a quarter race now. They come up 
for the first time, Immortal Breeze, Midland Maverick, Calamari Activator on the outside. Then we've got Fort Valley Duchess, Cool Ice is right there behind Fort Valley Duchess, almost biting at Steve's neck is Cool Ice. As they go into the back straight for the second time, in front, Immortal Breeze from Medland Maverick, then we've got on the outside Talavari Activator, up the inner from Valley Duchess, Cool Ice is very close, Chinatown Samuel is really at the races today, then a little gap of two lengths to Aberley East and here Ontario, at the end of the back straight for the second time, still in front, Janet Thomas and Immortal Breeze, but on the outside as he's been there for a whole lap now, this will take something out of him surely, his Talavari Activator, up the inner and he's had a good run through his Midland Maverick, but he's going out of the pocket, right behind the fourth place is Cool Ice pushing his way up the Talavari Activator, on the inner then is from Valley Duchess, making a move now on the outside is Air Ontario of Chinatown Samuel and seeing them all at the moment is Aberley Ace. The back straight for the final time. Activator once again goes to Immortal Breeze's quarter, but Immortal Breeze finds another gear and goes off by a length. Being towed along on the inner is Midland Maverick. Cool Ice on the outside. Front Valley but Duchess is with them. These five have broke away, but Immortal Breeze has really quickened down that back straight. He's taken three lengths out of the field and Janet Thomas swings for home. She's got 150 yards to run for the Immortal Breeze. I don't think they're going to get to Immortal Breeze. It's Immortal Breeze in front, but he is tying. It's very close to the line. But I think Immortal Breeze is the winner. Midland Maverick second, Talavari Activator. And Cool Ice. But I'll wait for the judges, but I do think that, that Janet Thomas and Immortal Breeze held on there. Everything okay around the track. So, first, in a time of 2.45.50, faster time than the first heat, number 41, Immortal Breeze from the available in the lava. Straight by her and driven expertly, uh, driven by Janet Thomas. Terrific piece of front running there, Janet. Very well done. Second, number 45, Midland Maverick. Up yeah, the track, up straight and driven by Oliver Jones. Into the final. Third, 47, and into the final. Up yeah. yeah. straight and driven again by Martin Roberts. And in fourth place, and in the final, number 50, Cool Ice. In the time of 2.45.5. So the fastest of the two heat. So we look forward to an eight horse racing final for the Mr. Eve Ever Memorial Cup Great. later on.